count. Game one, two, three. Two, three. <laughs> one, go! Joyo playing Wolf. Yeah, because he thinks Wolf is cool. I think so too. Food to Ganon. I like how much he's using. I like that laser. Okay, forward throw, get him off the stage. Oh, and Ganon broke the stall. I like that Ganon stall. We got out for a second. I don't know what that shine was about. Okay, he's just getting tech chased. Oh, uh, Mr. Shine. Ganon scams you. This trade's unfair. No, he's not going to pick Falco. No, it's Falco. Yeah, Falco. Oh, because Fox has those like nerfs. I love Falco. Fox gets nerfed, but Falco gets unmatched. Let's see. No, this is... You look at the change log, you see all the changes to shine and stuff that Fox has, and look at how going on the change. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, Brian definitely knows this matchup. 
But Biz definitely knows this matchup much better than Wolf, I would say. So let's see how he pairs against him. I'm not sure how much he likes the spacing matchup, but he certainly knows it better. Yeah, I'd say Koyo is probably the second best character. Yeah. That's, this is a character that pretty much tracks with Lillard. Oh, yeah, it's probably pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that, that fair will probably do it. Oh, wow, I'm surprised. Oh, it doesn't let us win, though. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, so, this is Wade Lands. So crazy. I like the spacing with the Toyo. Yeah, he's putting on insane pressure right now. I don't know if Ganon really has much to counter that pressure. Yeah, based on what I've experienced with Ganondorf, his neutral game is the strongest. But it's a combo. Yeah, especially for the combo. But Brian makes it. Right. No, but Ganon has a pretty much better recovery in this game than he has in that way. No, that's it. Oh! You get up attack. Oh, and he accidentally lets Brian back on. Trying to style a little bit, and he takes a stock because of it. Really not gone yet. Lockdown. He went for the side B. Oh! oh! The Ganon side! You gotta be careful with that. You gotta be careful with the recovering Ganon but you don't let that happen. That just put Brian in a ridiculous lead. He's getting now. Yeah, let's see if he can do anything with it. Ooh, that was almost dumb for time. You see Brian really, I don't want to say he's struggling, but he's having a little bit of a hard time with his music right now, trying to get him out though. I'm not trying to do that with the limited space on the Exactly. It's also pretty good for Ganon though, too, because there's a way around the stage. See, even though Ganon's side happens, minimal percentage is taken because of it. Shoyo really put on the pressure. Like what Shoyo did there, he just held on to like he's trying to do it in there because I think Ganon would have wrapped up. Yeah. Exactly. He's, done, he's adapted a little bit. Ganon didn't have that in Mela, that's not. Oh, nice back there. He got buried, but he didn't. Oh no, what happened there? I couldn't see from this angle. Did he, did he try to attack something and end up air dodging? No, he tried to air dodge up to the right, but he didn't air dodge straight up. So oh. he couldn't get that on Alright, so best of three. Hmm? Best of, oh sorry, not best of three, best of five. So let's see how this goes. This is Brian's favorite stage. Brian gets... Also very good for Falco. I almost saw first time the school. Yeah. But, yeah, I gotta go. Alright, see you later, man. <laughs> Brian, aka Biz, loves this stage because the walls are really narrow and Ganondorf can get some really early kills with his fair. As well, he's got the platforms there that if you end up missing a tech or a tech too early or if he reads you in general, he can fair you through the platforms and get a really early kill. And he also likes to do that uh, little edge cancel you just saw there. Uh, he's pretty good at those, so he likes to swag a little bit doing that. The match started off really strong with uh, Shoyo, but now we can see Brian or Biz really putting in the work. Oh, goes for the F, the, the up tilt. I'm not sure that was intentional. Ooh, special delivery. Didn't want to do that. Oh, classic Falco Shine pressure. Leads to a forward smash. Right, yes, I was about to say, could Biz get anything off of that? And he did, it's classic forward air. I was saying forward air, I think I might have been saying forward tilt the entire time. I hope not. Anyway, nice jab reset by Shoyo. Ooh. Yeah, see, Shoyo's not falling for the, the side B recoveries anymore. He knows, he's starting to respect Ganon offstage a little more. Ooh, chain grabs. Nice dash tech getting started. Ooh, and the forward air will connect. Ah, uh, see. Now, Fox and Falco normally have a lot of recovery options on other stages, but the Wario Land platforms are situated in such a way that if you try to recover quick, you can still take a punish! Oh my goodness, the up tilt. You don't see that very often. Landed beautifully. 
just about even now if you consider how early Ganon can kill on the stage. Although Falco, oh my goodness, that pressure. Oh, I don't know about that kick. Oh, he made it back. Oh, I thought to say he almost killed himself. But, uh, lived and then took the punish. I think I might have been saying four tilt instead of four air. <laughs> I really hope not. Anyway, I can't know for sure. Uh, Troyo up a stock. Ooh, but a big meaty fair by Ganon. Like I said, that's all it takes on Wario Land. That's why Biz loves this stage. Ooh, wanted to see if he could get his classic side B weaves going. Ooh, going for the read again. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't think he meant to do that. Just misses the shield grab. Now the shine pressure's coming off, and shined off the top. Classic Falco. All right, it's now Biz's counter pick. He went to most of his favorite stages already, so I don't know where else he can go. He might want to run back to either Fountain of Dreams or War. Oh no. Shoyo banned Wario Land. I think he kind of saw the struggles he had with the platforms and facing Ganon there. It's not really a place you want to be taking Ganon unless you're also a character that kills off the side very early. Like I thought, this goes to Fountain of Dreams. Is there no DSR? Or did they disagree to that? <laughs> oh well. We'll see how it goes. Oh! Oh, okay. No, he lived. He lived. Okay, we're seeing that classic Falco pressure. This looks like he's having a little bit of a hard time trying to get in. Ooh, nice jab reset. Doesn't really lead to much, though. That... Oh! The adaptation by Shoyo. He knew it was coming and adapted immediately. But that's all it takes. One Ganondorf fair. Oh, not a good trade. Oh. Drops a little too low. Now we can see Viz is being a little more aggressive right now. He wants to try to make up for lost room. Going for dash attacks and bears. He grab, he convert. Up there does not connect. Oh. Nice board kill. Shine Press is too great right now. Ooh, I mean, not entirely sure what he's looking for there. One again and safer approach. Oh, there we go. Let's see if Bizarro, Link can, or Bizarro Flame, if Biz can get anything off of this. And he does! Biz's classic reads. This man is quite literate. Oh, it gets lasered out of his float. All right, down a full stock. Let's see if Biz can bring this back. Oh, well, that's one way to finish the game. Ryan, what does the the BM stand for in your name? Okay, game five. Where will Biz take Shoyo? over there. Three, two, one, go. Battlefield. Oh. Biz tries to cape the uh, laser right off the bat. I like the decision. Biz not one for using the cape very often. Ooh, that's an early stop. 
early lead for Shoyo. Let's see if Brian or Biz can bring it back. Yo, that anyway, we can hype about the pizza later. Right now, we're hyping about this match. Oh. Oh. Unfortunate. What's the pizza? What's the slice up the ten pizza under there? Did you grab me a slice? Yeah, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Oh man, Shoyo is just going off this round. He's not giving Brian a lot of space. Thanks so much. I'll commentate it for you. Let's run back on. Gets the side B. Doesn't convert much from it. Joyo's pressure right now is just out of this world. It's very hard for a character like Daniel to deal with that kind of pressure. Seems what looks like a totally different game from before. I'm not sure if it's Shoyo playing a lot more on point or Brian just being a little phased. I'm not sure. If I had to say though, I think it's Shoyo is just really on point right now and not giving Brian any space to breathe. That could be it. Going for the shines. Yeah, looking pretty grim. Ooh, that ain't melee. Shine pressure and the back air, the unfortunate four stock. 